guys. Okay, so I thought since it's Thanksgiving, I would show you what I am bringing to my Thanksgiving with my family. Um, I am doing green bean casserole and corn casserole. And it is like the simplest sides to bring if you've never brought them. Let me tell you, this is what you should sign up for because they're so easy. I know I say that all the time, but this, seriously, you just dump and pour. So there's not really a lot of measuring involved, just a little bit. Uh, so here's for my green bean casserole, the ingredients I'm going to be using. And then here is for my corn casserole, the ingredients I'm going to be using. I am making two batches of each. Ooh. This one's going to be a triple batch and a single, and then the corn's going to be a triple and a single. So let's move our pans out of the way. This is a deep dish baker from Pampered Chef. If you're not familiar with them, they are amazing. You can cook a chicken, an entire chicken, inside of this bad boy in your microwave. Not even kidding. Love that thing. And let me move these out of the way. I got a new can opener. My mom bought it for me and I am loving it. So we are going to open up all of these cans that don't have the easy pull on the tops and we are going to just get to dumping. Let's start with the green bean casserole first so that my butter can start to soften a little bit more and then we'll move on to the corn casserole. It's all going to Into this bowl, we are pouring in the six green. cans of the green beans. And yes. I've already strained them, as you can see. And then into here, we are going to pour in our cream of mushroom. We're tripling this recipe, so we need two and a quarter cups of milk. And so that goes up to the full way. No, nope, we're gonna do two cups of milk, and this is a half of a cup, so we're gonna go right between here. Keep going. This you wanna go right up to I know where this is just really heavy. Oh. Oh, We need to add some black pepper. Oh, I We're going to do about three eighths of a teaspoon. So, how much is that? I don't know, really, to be honest. That's probably enough. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do pepper lately? And we know to say pepper, pepper. And then you just give this a good mm, mix. Can I do it? And to this, once it's all mixed, yeah, you can mix it one second, yeah. Bella. Once it's all mixed up, then we're gonna add some onions into it. So let me Ooh. let Bella mix it for a sec. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump in two of these bags of onions. Ooh. I would kind of want to taste of these. Yeah, you can't. We'll keep one out and you can try them in a minute, okay? Go ahead and dump in this guy as well. I wonder if this is going to overflow. Ah! Sorry. Okay. And now let's mix up that one. And we have one more bag of these, and this is going to go on the top. It is kind of weird. Does it? Yeah. yeah. Now it's time to pour this, scoop this in there. That is it for now. Um, tomorrow, when I throw this into the oven, I'm going to bake it at 350 
And for a normal batch, it would take about 20 minutes. But I'm thinking this is going to take probably like an hour. Ooh. And then, um, I like the last 15 minutes or so. Because all you're doing is pretty much heating it through. The last 15 minutes, I'm going to open up this bag of onions. And I'm going to sprinkle those Ooh. onto the top of this guy. Can I do it? Um... You won't be here. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm we're, but me and Bella's dad are not together. So Bella is going with her dad tomorrow for Thanksgiving, um, during the day. So you know, co-parenting. So uh, yeah, let's put this will be in the oven tomorrow while you're with your daddy, and then we're making another batch for, for Bella. Yeah, so I can do Thanksgiving with Bella as well tomorrow night. So. You know, the power of co-parenting on a holiday. <laughs> I should make a whole video about it. But anyway, this one's done. Now we are going to make me and Bella's. Now there is mine. There is Bella. It's so wet. I think we're gonna cut it like this, and then the mommy will have a piece. I will have a piece, and whoever will have the two pieces. <laughs> we're gonna cut it like this. Oh, you think so, huh? And okay. then I saved um about half this package. This isn't quite as much onions as you should be adding. I didn't realize these were only six ounce bags, but they call for a cup and a half. So, so I'm going to do it yeah. again. Well, this is going to be saved just to put on the top. I think it looks like there's plenty of onions in there. So we're going to make make it work for okay, us. Okay. Oh, you want to try one? Yeah, again. But yeah, so this will just be Bella's and we are going to move on to the corn casserole next. Yahoo! Okay, so now we are going to make corn casserole. A can of creamed corn. And a can of that. A box of corn muffin mix. And uh, some A stick butter. of softened butter. Grab an egg. Ooh, yes. Crack it. One egg, one a cup. half of a cup of sour cream, and one can of corn. Did we do three though? We are tripling it. So yes, we have three cans. Three cans of corn. Okay, so once you have it fully incorporated, oh, um, is, it should look somewhat like this. What does incorporated mean? Fully mixed. Ooh. Um, then we're going to pour it into a greased pan. Like this? But to grease uh, this guy, yeah. all I'm going to do is take a stick of butter Ooh, I would do and that. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Can I do it? Is just rub this stick of butter kind of around in my baker here. Oops, that's plenty. Huh? And then Bella's putting a glove on her hand. <laughs> and she's gonna smear it all around in there. Ooh, I'm you have to hold this up. These are bad gloves. Uh -oh. and, and go ahead and smear the whole thing in there. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. If you don't have gloves, you can use saran wrap or a baggie or just your hands and then just wash them. Yeah, it's not like you can't put butter on them. Yeah. So you want to get the whole thing all coated. Oh, this is 
so good. It's actually really relaxing too. Is it? A little bit. This is so disrelaxing, I can't get a hold of myself. Yep. Perfect. And this is how I take off my gloves so I don't spread anything. Oh, good job, Bella. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, and I just made a mess. Now I'm going to scoop this into here. <laughs> you went rid of this a little bit. As you can see, this deep dish baker could not hold a triple batch. This guy can only hold a double. Um, so I had to go and grab another pan. This one is not an 8x8. It's not a 9x13. It is like between there. I don't know exactly what size this pan is. But I just need to clean up a little bit around the edges and then I'm going to pop these guys into the fridge until tomorrow to bake. Um, you're going to bake these and then at a certain point again you're going to pull them out and top them with some shredded cheese. So once you get them topped with the shredded cheese you put them back into the oven and it will melt the cheese and make it all crispy and crunchy. I personally don't like the shredded cheese on top of mine but um, everybody else does. So. I will be making it for them. But anyway, this is the corn acasi roll. Okay, so now we're going to make the batch for Bella. Do I put this in first? Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can put them in in any... My egg. <laughs> oh, let me strain or drain or whatever you say your corn. If you guys noticed, um, this corn had a little bit of a cloudier water. The other corns were... The other corns? Uh, the other cans of corn were salt free so this one is not, not you can totally free. tell it has salt in it interesting right why what is it so i'm just gonna pull another one of these in oh gosh hold on guys i'm not gonna cut any stuff like this so hey i wasn't ready for that <laughs> I'm gonna do the egg glass. This is an egg. You can still do the egg glass. And this is a stick of butter or a half cup of butter. Ah! Ding! I tried to do something. My hands are so eggy, I did something. Add a half of a cup of sour cream. So I'm just gonna add this other. <laughs> Why about it wasn't ready? Cup of sour cream. And this is it for Bella's corn casserole. Uh, again, all you're going to do now is you're going to put on some cheese after it's baked in the oven and then put it back in the oven and let the cheese melt. I hope you guys all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. You too. And maybe I will post some pictures on Facebook or Instagram. Or I don't know. Maybe I'll put in there. You can vote where you want me to put the pictures of these once they are complete and pulled out of the oven. And it's just a simple recipe. Yeah. So thank you guys so much and I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Today, I'm recording this the night before, so it's funny to say it today, but... Tonight, I hope you have sweet dreams about turkeys. Yeah. Get it? Turkeys? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and happy Thanksgiving. We love you. And I hope you have a great holiday Thanksgiving. Bye. Hope it is. You guys. We ran out of foil. We ran out of foil. Let's see if this fits. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, my gosh. It is the perfect amount. All because I had to make that extra guy. <laughs> used up my foil. So I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. And all you parents out there that are co-parenting and maybe missing this holiday with your little ones, um, you're in my heart, and I know the struggle. So... Everybody else, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And if you do have your kids this 
holiday, then enjoy them and give them lots of love and hugs and don't get overstuffed on all that turkey. All right, you guys, have a great day. Bye.